Good evening, guys. We're in Birmingham City. We're at Victoria Square. And we're going to Jewelry Quarter tonight, as promised. It's Saturday, the 18th of February. It's 10 past six. My apologies for being 10 minutes late. I had a problem with the microphone setting it up. I hope you can hear me when you come in. Uh, it's about probably 55 degrees Fahrenheit. A bit of a breeze sometimes. Just come through Broad Street, a very lively night. Hopefully we get some people in here soon. I have to start the video sometime. I mean, I, it's not like the very popular vloggers, you know, when they, they have a couple of hundred waiting for them. We have to carry on because I notice that normally 80% of my viewers for my live videos come in over the next week. So that's, that's good news. Although we like you to come in live, obviously people are busy doing things and sometimes I'm told that they don't actually, changing hands here, notify you. Someone told me one of the tips is to, you know, the under the video on the right hand side, this is for people who are going to be watching over the next week, there's nobody in at the moment. There's a bell where you click on the bell, even it says it's ticked, it says receive notification. Well, switch that off, switch the notification off, and then switch the notification back on again. And that would perhaps give you notification when I go live. We have one in, you see, thank you very much. Hopefully you can hear me and the picture quality is good. We're on our way to Jewelry Quarter. We're in Newhall Street at the moment. Going down, heading down to Jewelry Quarter. I had major problems with my microphone. Sorry, I was just touching the muffler then. And then I go and um, drop it. So I, hopefully it hasn't um, broken it. I did that once before with the DJI and uh, the sound was all crackly. So let me know if the sound and picture quality is fine. Here we are. Lively night in Broad Street. I've just walked through Broad Street. It's crazy. But I thought, you know, we've got to find new places for you. And hopefully we'll get a few in tonight. We had nearly, excuse me, 60 people look at the notification video of this. So hopefully it will be a good evening. And I haven't been over Jewelry Recorder for quite a while. I used to live over there. If you're familiar, familiar with New Hall Street, you know this area very well. Tremendous amount of buildings have been going on here as well. But we shall just have a look. It's nice down there, isn't it? This is Rhinel Street. I enjoy the live broadcast, even though I talk to myself most of the time. But it, it's nice. It's a, it's a good feeling to get people in. Last week we had, on average, 20. So that was good. I was pleased with that. that and people were able to get to know each other in here. So, wonderful. Do you know this area at all? Jojo Lounge. Oh, three. Hello, guys and girls. Hopefully you're going to enjoy tonight's video live from Birmingham City. First time I came back from Spain, it's nearly six years in May. This is where I came because I lived in Jewelry Court, as I've told you before. This hopefully we have a good gimbal tonight. We did last week, didn't we? We don't want a naughty gimbal. Let me just press the button here. So, hopefully picture and sound's fine. 
Yes, I, I lost the magnet. Then I lost. Then I dropped the, the microphone. I couldn't believe it. Then I couldn't. It's dark where I tried to set up. That's what made me late. I was on time. Phil Potts. Okay, Brett. Brett Riverboat. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, is picture and sound good for now? There is a strong wind occasionally, but we've got a dead cat on there. So we should be okay. And not supposed to dry, drop the microphone are you yes. just pan around for you oh thanks Brett that's, that's wonderful I say last time I dropped radio microphone it was a DJI it was, I finished the video oh it's about a year ago and it was all crackly so I damaged obviously I damaged it but I sent it back and they, they replaced it. They're very good Amazon, as you know, I'm sure. I'm not sure how much light we're going to have where I plan to go tonight, guys, so forgive me. I just thought we'd try something a little bit different, but as I said, we'll finish up at our signature place. So, you know, we'll finish up at Brindley Place, whatever we do tonight. Oh, that's good, yeah, 1080. Because where, where I set it up near Victoria Square, I only had one bar. Oh, then I dropped the magnet, as I said. Then I dropped the microphone, and then I thought, oh, my goodness. So you've got to be careful with the... Uh, fortunately, it didn't break it. So they can be very... I've got a double one, so we should be... But I've got, I've got the other one in the bag, so we'll be OK. It's just if, in case, for example, if the channel makes progress and you know we are out somewhere and people want to talk so i can put the other microphone on them or i've got a handheld piece now i bought oh it's dark here sorry guys keep it on wide and not extra wide because we are going in a lot of dark areas and ultra wide it usually doesn't doesn't it enough light in and, and it'll be even darker than this so yes I have this I bought it's great I think look it's a road look see that it's a handheld microphone like it's more professional and I can put the other receiver in there just clips inside whoops there you go wait a second I've just knocked off the <laughs> And it's rolling down the road and getting blown away. Hang on, guys. I've lost it. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, sorry. Gotcha. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Couldn't believe that. Last week I got home. Oh, yes, I lost... Sorry. I lost one of my mufflers, you probably know. I dropped this, guys. Look, this. <laughs> you know, when I go out filming live... I usually come back with something less than what I went out with. I don't know how I do it. I remember putting the muffler. I've got two, so I'm okay. And you can buy a three pack, but they're not cheap, they're 24 pounds. Oh, this is new. I think it's new, the new hall. Yeah, there is, the jam house. Brett, you're right. I lived at St. Paul's Place in a, a bed city, they call them studios now, don't they? So my age, I call them bed sits. So if I put, put this phone back in there, hopefully it'll be there when, when I get home. So it's got a holder, and it's just if you're out, you can put the other microphone in there and someone can hold it. And you can talk to them, they can talk to you, and we don't have to shout at each other. So it's great. It also has, um, I told you last week, I don't know if you were at the um, Watch the Videos NEC. I, I didn't think it worked, it got caught on the arm, but that's because I was stupid and I put it back to front. <laughs> and yes, let's go through here. I did look at a flat down here. I love Jewelry Quarter. 
It's just I was opposite, do you know St. James Road? I was opposite the, the uh, which isn't there now, the engineering factory. And it was 24-7, I couldn't believe it. It was just, it was the hottest June, July on record in our country. And uh, I was facing the sun, sunrise and sunset. And it was just one room, obviously a studio. I, I just couldn't believe it. It was 100 degrees at midnight. And that's in England. Can you believe that? Hello, Jan. Nice to see you. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Is that? Ah, oh, Richard. Pleasure to see you here. Thank you so much for joining. And it was 675, but at the time, if you had one on the same floor, they were playing 625. So I got a little bit ripped off, but I was a bit desperate. I came back from Spain. I still had my house in Spain. And I wanted to just... Well, I decided to live in England again in Birmingham. So here we are, nearly six years later. And I've looked at these over here, these apartments. They're about 900. It is a beautiful area, yes. I enjoy it, St Paul's Square. And we're coming up to the church on our right. We can't see a lot, sorry, it's dark. <laughs> Let's get in the road. It's quiet here. Can't walk over there. It is a beautiful area. One of my favourites. So up there now, St Paul's Place, I've noticed the... I left just over a year ago. Is it over a year ago? I think I'm being... Um, two years, two years ago. Yes. Over two years. It's, uh, they've gone up to 750. Uh, I, I think where I live it still remains the same, thank God. The last... I've just had my third half yearly payment. But it's owned by a company called Native Places and they only build to rent, so it's not like private the own. So interest rates go up, you own a property, you rent it, you have But here, now as I said, but it's a beautiful area. But I'm going to take you around St. James Road. It's just taking you around areas that perhaps you're familiar with or you don't live in Birmingham anymore or England or, you know, brings back memories of when you were here. So, anyway, the engineering factory has gone. There's a multi-million pound redevelopment. What's the YouTube channel? Oh, Birmingham close up. Birmingham close yeah, up. Do you want to say hello? Hello, hello guys. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye bye. Beautiful restaurant over here. Isn't it? Has anyone been here? It's called the Pasta di Piazzo. It's a very posh pizza restaurant, isn't it? Whew. Beautiful inside, isn't it? So naive Bernard, he came here nearly six years ago. You see now, look, it's not here anymore, the building, the uh, engineering company. And I wish they were not here when I lived here. It was complete 17 months only, but 17 months of hell. Can you imagine? And in the summer they had all the windows open, obviously, in the factory. Just listening to the noise from an engineering factory. So, I can't remember what it was called now. And then they... Yes. Are you talking about this one here? LA, this one that they 
renovated whilst I lived here. Very upmarket, isn't it? Royal Birmingham Society of Artists. Ah, this one here is in St. James Street. That was. I never went there. Well, I was just going to swear then. For putting me through hell. For, sorry, they were only doing their job. This is a massive area. It goes all the way around. I'll show you some of it. Yes, and this is where I lived up there in one of those studio apartments. So we got the short straw. You always do, don't you, in a studio? I lived on the third floor there. Sorry, it's a bit windy. I have got a dead cat on. Hopefully it's not intolerable. I, I can put it inside the jacket to make it even better, but be a little bit difficult. So yes, it's a multi-million pound development. Flats, businesses, restaurants, all sorts of things. It goes for miles and it's been left like that though for 12 months I think I'm right in saying so I'm not sure why they haven't started yet ah uh, called blue tech club ah uh, techo ah uh. Okay. This is the other side of St Paul's Place. So you'd be better off over here. I'm not sure if they have studio apartments over here. Sorry, it's a bit dark. I thought we might cut back on our right and then go along an area Oh, I can't, great, is it Great Western Road or? Oh, sorry, I can't remember. And then we're cut back through the back streets to Jury Quarter for you. Hopefully you'll be happy with that. Yes, so it's a lovely area. Oh, they had a flat here at the old biscuit factory. You see just above the glamorous sign? Not very nice though, you wouldn't believe it, it was about a thousand pounds. Not very nice at all. What's this car doing? Not a lot. <laughs> and the old, yes, they used to have a cafe here as well, didn't they? It's a pizza restaurant now. But this is a wonderful hotel and I have seen the rooms. I didn't stay here, Block Hotels. It's a chain restaurant, isn't it? Um, fabulous, you know, it's a fabulous area to stay if you come to Birmingham. And these were between 80 and 90 pounds, you know, for two people, that's not bad. Look it out, it's a wonderful hotel, really beautiful. I didn't stay there, I stayed. Yes, so they used to have a wonderful little restaurant here. Remember there where the doors are? Sold all this fresh food. And I, I would come here for a coffee because I had, I think I had six days in Travel Lodge. Oh, no, I had six days in, a, in the Backpackers, which I've shown you, in five days in Travel Lodge, and then I stayed here. I'm just going up here, then we're going to backtrack. It's amazing building here. This is Mary Street. Mary. Mary, Mary, this street here, isn't that a fascinating building? I have some architects here and so what are they doing up there? I mean it's not a private residence so I just stand over here and show you. Isn't that beautiful? What's good about the city centre, though, you have bars around corners, you'd never know. 
about. Hmm. I love Birmingham City. It's uh, it's it's better than living when I first came back. I I lived in Cheltenham, but it's probably about the same price to rent Cheltenham, Birmingham. So we could go up there and run there, but no, no, I'll go the way I know, guys. I just we'll backtrack a little bit and we we'll cut round. There's a beautiful pub and bars, and we could uh, have a look at. Better not have a drink. And. It's the road that leads up to uh, Soho. So I don't know if anyone knows it, but I can't remember what it's called now. It's got loads of, it was quite an old road. It's got lots of fascinating buildings. It's got loads of mobile phone shops and it has, it sells a lot of products to trade. You probably know the road. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just checking that my... <laughs> My foam mic piece is still there. You never get another one. It's so huge. It was a nice place to come to. I just chose the wrong location for my flat. I mean, it'd be... I see you could come back now to St. Paul's Place, but I noticed the rent's gone up there also. The one bedrooms were 1350 I had a look today before we came out. 1350 uh, for one bedroom which is, but they were a thousand, so I don't know how they you know, put it up 350. It is beautiful, yes, we're going to come back at the top end I just showed you where we t I decided to turn back. Oh, this is a nice restaurant, isn't it? Got some lovely restaurants here. Oh, Artisan, does anyone know this one? Ah, right. It's interesting over here. Artisan, was it Artisan Alchemy Gallery? Oh, look at those dogs. There's like three of them. To be careful dogs on camera you might not like it they don't mind normally if you say to the owner oh I love your dog it was funny I, I, I was watching a vlog and this guy is very popular it's in America so you don't have to know anymore and he's fantastic but it was so funny he yes yeah, I'm cute I love dogs he started to film a dog that was doing its business. Yes, and this the dog owner said, what are you doing? I don't want you to film my dog. You know, you can imagine what he said. He was a middle-aged, maybe middle-class sort of guy, you know, and he said, oh, hello, Travel Watch TV. Oh, thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Yes, everything fine. Haven't really done anything this week I I've got into live now I'm, I remember Fernando from Superfans NYC check him out guys and check out Travel Walks TV I've never met them but we will meet one day anyway I'm, I'm digressing we were so he, he was filming this dog doing this and the, and the owner said you can't do that and he said it's a free country i can do what i like and i i, I wanted to say you know to this vlogger you know and he was always talking about how perceptive he is and he knows what goes on and i said don't 
don't film, don't film. And, and uh, he said, it's a free country, free country, I can do what I like, read the laws. He said, if you can read. <laughs> oh, no. And then he walked off. And I mean, he gets thousands of viewers. And about 10 or 15 minutes later, you heard this. <laughs> and it was this guy that decided to come after him. And he had his camera on. <laughs> I don't know if he'd taken the dog home. He didn't have the dog with him. And he put it in this vlogger's face. And they were just arguing with each other. That wasn't funny. It was sort of unpleasant. But it was a bit like, well, you can film me. I'm going to film you now. But at the time, I thought you can't film a dog, you know, doing that. If the owner said to you, it was a fact that he said, if you can read, that really, <laughs> but it did take about 15 minutes to come back. Oh, it's so funny. Isn't this a wonderful St. Paul's house? Beautiful hotel and restaurant, isn't it? And bar. We've got 11 in, well done. Famous now. Oh no, we don't use that word, do we? Popular. Popular now, I'm going to sign autographs, five pounds each. <laughs> so, there are a lot of things. I mean, last week I enjoyed. I enjoy, I enjoy. Filming, as you know, guys, we, we've sort of, uh, the um, subscribers, I'm on 483, I'm sort of stuck up that number now. I think my limit's probably between five and 600, maybe by the end of the year. But, you know, I'm very happy. I never thought I'd get 483. I just said last week, if you remember, like and subscribe, and she, you know, she, I don't want to keep saying that, because Mary Ann Street, and we can... <laughs> famous, yeah. Well, no, I never use that word, as you know. No such thing. I always say you're a very popular blogger, it, even if you've got a million. So we're going down to uh, this street, which I find quite in interesting. Never been here at night. I've done it in the daytime, but it's so different, isn't it, at night? And also these flats here you can rent but they are always vacancies, so I'm not sure why. It's quite a big building, but it is opposite. Just warn you here, a small sort of engineering works. I can't remember what they call them, but you know the streets now, so they always have vacancies there, but I... I did look at one. It wasn't very nice, actually. It's a bit run down inside. So this is Mary Ann Street. It's probably not too bad for you. It's always beautiful at night. It's so different. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm not sure what I'll do in the summer. I'll have to come out at midnight. I don't normally, as you know, because I'm about 100 years old, I normally like to tuck myself up with my boring meal at six then I put a film on I was watching if the prime videos I mean I don't personally if you if you like series I think Netflix is great but I just I don't I don't like getting hooked into them and I always find the writing gets a bit it's lovely in the daytime honestly I've been here it's really lovely yeah honestly Yes, yeah, so Netflix, um, I've given up with their old films they have. So I'm really into, well, I've had Prime for one month. Oh, I think I had it on a trial. But I you know they do lots of free videos and they're really good. You wouldn't believe it. If you're into films, um, Prime Video, just download the app and watch their free videos if you don't want to subscribe and you wouldn't believe it they're far superior to the rubbish films I'm not talking about the series they put on Netflix but I always find personally with a series the writing gets a bit naff halfway through you know it must be difficult to write for 
and it gets a bit boring. So I just, I love a film and then I fall asleep. And then I wake up and I think, oh my God, where am I? And that's what I do, unfortunately. But I don't know why. I, it seems the meal, after I've had my meal, just knocks me out. It's really weird. And I don't drink, as you know, very often, very rarely. Yes, conscious is a little, is a horse, isn't it, called that? Constitution Hill, guys. Now, I know you probably know this area. Yes, it is. It's, I thought you'd, you know, you want to chill out <laughs> tonight. Constitution Hill. You see this shop over here, SND Electrical Wholesalers. Fantastic in there. It's mainly trade, but they will serve you. I mean, I had a problem with getting the light bulb. You know, if you're in rented accommodation for the um, hob and things like that, and they have everything in there. Great staff in there, really friendly. So if you, you know, need any electrical products, please go there. It's worth, you know, I like to, I mean, I, I can't promote, I don't, if, you know, hopefully, one or two people might take notice, but I won't tell you about something I don't know anything about it. But along here, in the daytime, you're talking about the daytime, it is, a, it's an old street. I mean, Constitution Hill, a lot of history. It looks, to be honest, very run down in lots of places, but very beautiful. I mean, look at those buildings here. Aren't they fascinating, above the shops? I think they're beautiful. It's a very busy road. And you can get, in the daytime, really busy. You get a bus here and it goes to Soho, if you know Soho. Ooh, it's just releasing my scarf a bit. Soho is okay. It's beautiful in the daytime. It's got so lots of um, Indian shops selling those beautiful clothes, and it's a really friendly, nice area, Soho. But I'm told at night, I mean, it's not me, I'm, but I read it's a little bit different, if you get my meaning. So you have to be a little bit careful. But I did speak to some locals a few months ago and they said it was getting better. <laughs> so if I talk now, I'm hoping you can hear me clearly because we have a radio microphone. The great thing about the transmitter which plugs into the iPhone, the, you know, the, what do they call that, the PowerPoint lightning connector. It, it has a noise bar, I might have told you. So unlike all the microphones I've ever had before, you can see and keep your voice down when there is a lot of traffic right now, as long as it doesn't go into, into the red bar, it shouldn't sound distorted for you, which has happened with every other microphone I've had. That wasn't cheap, it was 289, but I think it's finally, fine, I think I finally got the best one. And I know a lot of the popular vloggers use exactly the same microphone. We're going to walk to the end of this road, show you some more buildings, and then we're going to cap, cut back to Jury Quarter. I've never had a Domino's pizza, would you believe? The best pizza I've ever had, believe it or not, is one from Marks and Spencers. It's six pounds now. I mean, it's huge, fresh, and 
by far the best piece of the chicken one. Spicy chicken, it's um, it's got about two pounds of chicken on it, it's amazing. That, uh, I mean M&S is good quality but they are more expensive than other shops. Oh, so does anyone know this area? There's another beautiful building over there. There's a famous horse, not that you are interested, called Constitution Hill, and it's um, trained by Nicky Henderson, and it's a favourite for the champion hurdle at uh, Cheltenham in three weeks' time. And it's uh, a super horse. It's unbeaten. I think it was second first time out, maybe in a bumper, but yes. Anyway, <laughs> another stunning building here. It's similar to the other one. Isn't that beautiful? No, it's good food. The cakes have gone down, travel, TV walk. Um, I'm, I've always eaten every single cake in the world, and but it is a small. We've got a bit of a run down M and S, haven't we, in Birmingham? But it is moving. If you read the details of one of my previous videos, if you click on the link, all the information's there. It's moving, as you know, t into the ball ring where Debenhams used to be, and it's going to be much bigger. Uh, and it's. And it's within the next six months. Oh, it's a bit of a walk from here. Yes, but your name is Travel Walks. You walk miles. I'm thinking of branching out a little bit. Now we've got into live, which I did, I've only done recently, as you guys know. I I know when we went to Manchester um, and certainly London it didn't work, nobody was really interested and funny I met one of my in, in the city I've only ever met one person who said are you Birmingham closer <laughs> and he said oh I don't want to watch any other videos only from Birmingham but the thing is I don't know what you guys think You've got to branch out. It's a little bit, yes, it's a bit naive to just stay with the greatest respect. Look at the beautiful Gilders Yard. Are they flats? They must be, aren't they beautiful? I mean, one would hope it's triple glaze though. Can you imagine? This, the noise of this road. Stunning apartments. It was probably one of those beautiful old buildings though we've just seen that's now you know being demolished or renovated. I couldn't put up with this traffic noise there. I hate traffic pollution. I hope the windows are triple glazed. I did change my YouTube name once because I had a... That's a nice... The church, this little pub there. But, you know, you, you run the risk. I, I've spent 21 months building up Birmingham close up. The, la the last one was eight months, but it had a virus and I took it down anyway. So, I mean, I didn't know what I was doing then anyway. But if you change your name, it's almost like changing your channel and starting again. I, I can't do that because it's been, you know, as well as I do, it's really hard work. And I built up 483 subscribers, 21 months. And, and and I love it, and it and it's brought some, some enjoyment to some people, but it, it's a slog, you know. It's it's a real slog sometimes, and I, I wouldn't run that risk now because I'm 
I'm not that popular and people were just, I couldn't risk starting again. I couldn't go through all that again. I'm hoping, you know, maybe what I'll get, I don't know, it's silly to, who knows, a hundred new subscribers a year if I'm lucky. But that, that's fine. I mean, you know, nearly 500, you've got nearly 700, I think. It's, it's wonderful to go out and film, but I will go to other places. I think I have to. I've got to go to other places. It doesn't have to be. Just It's Birmingham close-up. It doesn't have to be Birmingham all the time. But it is expensive going out, isn't it? As you know, I, when I went to London, it was probably £150 just to stay out one night, and I stayed in Travel Lodge, and it was freezing cold. And we had the snow, didn't we? And I did the Oxford Street and Harrods. That, none of it really worked. And then I went to Manchester. And I have to tell you, I loved Manchester. I mean, again, it was a, a one-night stay. But I wasn't doing live then. It was about £160 I spent in an average hotel and the train. It's about two and a half hours on the train. And... From a vlogging point of view, again, with the greatest respect, it was a disaster. Nobody was really interested in it. It's a great city, Manchester. Beautiful at night, so I... But I'm thinking I've just got to you know, get out again to these places. And I'm sure there are some people, I, I'm not sure why it works that way. Maybe it's because when you're in Manchester or if you're in London, you're with the big boys then, aren't you? I mean, it's probably thousands of vloggers in London, certainly hundreds and, and even in Manchester and, and they had their loyal followers and people, but I don't see why people on this channel wouldn't want to watch maybe I'm wrong you know you got just branching out trying to make it as interesting as I possible oh it does grow doesn't it yeah it's stuck with me I started filming when I was seven would you believe when you turn the handle and and seven or eight I had some sort of look box camera and it's always been an obsession of mine. Videography, cinematography, directing, the art of, of filming is one of the greatest art forms in the, in, in a, in the world, I think. And when you see a good film, it's one called The Green Book. You should watch that, it's wonderful. And you see how complex, if you, if you watch the how they make the film, the extras, how complex it is and, and, and the many, many people involved. Uh, it's not just about the actors, the directing, the, you know, producing, editing. Yes, yeah, thank you, Jim. I think I will. At least I know I'll get you to come on. We are going to take one of these side streets. I might do it now, to be honest with you guys. It's not a lot. I think it might be the next street. Not a lot up here. I came along here once before and I cut through just by off chance. It might be the next one. And we found a lovely pub. And it brings us out round Jury Quarter. And then we can go. I mean, as I said, we are finishing up. You know, that's just a... There's another, there's someone called Anne in New York, and he's, he started it maybe a couple of years ago. And it, it's pretty clever. He, he goes to, he always finishes up. I know it's tourists, and they get 50 million. People go to Times Square a year, it's like a million a week. But he finishes video every time, almost every time in Times Square. And, it, and I thought, well, you know, we might as well finish my videos. Uh, if we're in Birmingham, of course. <laughs> if we're in London, I'm not going to be running back. Um, I think it might have been... No, I don't think it was this road. No. 
Was it this way? No. We're going to go back. I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut through to Jewelry Quarter now for you guys. It's a bit boring. There's nothing else to see here. And see how we get on if it's just over to our, my right now. I don't know if anyone knows, as I said, Soho, but yes, I read at night. It was two years ago. I spoke to someone who, an Indian who owns one of the cake shops along there, and he said, oh, it's um, got a little bit better, but at night he wouldn't come out. <laughs> so it's not me, it's just, I've lived here for 20 years, and you, at night it's a bit... Um, I did notice in the daytime there were a few groups on, you know, in various areas, which made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. But it's all part of uh, filming, isn't it? You've got to sort of take a risk sometimes. I think it might have been this one, to be honest. I'm hoping it is. Yes, let's go up here. I've got a feeling this is... This is called VYSE Street, so don't ask me to pronounce it. I think the station might be up here. Yes, they don't sweep, they don't clean them. I'm going to... Oh yes, Museum Jewelry Quarter. So I've only done this once. Oh, I probably crossed the wrong. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm not paranoid. I just see groups and I think, oh, no, they're okay. Oh. Fuck, bro, down. You see that? But you. Ignore them. My apologies there. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Branston Muse. Hopefully that didn't come out too well. Aren't they beautiful? Those little houses there. And you didn't get the gesture and I don't know what YouTube guidelines are when I have seen people before obviously doing silly things and, and they are okay you just have to the biggest one as you know is copyrights they will get you but they don't give you a strike it's usually a copyright it's definitely where I came Or music, but they say the owner gives you permission because I read at one time someone became a multi millionaire and they wanted to claim some money from her earlier videos that she had put copyright music up and she did have to settle with them because. That's how it works, isn't it? You're not. So when they give you permission, I get loads, as you know. I don't mute. Uh, owner said that you have permission. Or sometimes you, you get a warning that it's not allowed, it's restricted in some countries, and then they usually tell you it's Russia. <laughs> but apart from that, but it's not a strike. Three strikes and you, you lose your channel, apparently. And, and that's permanent, so I'm always careful not to do that. Yes, the station is here. It was Joni Mitchell. I inadvertently put some background music and it went to YouTube. And a, split, a few seconds later, I got this legal sort of document came through on my email telling me to take it down. 
And I did, obviously, but that was in my early days when I was just messing around with things. So this is Jewelry Quarter Station here. I didn't know that. Ah. Jewelry Quarter Station. So we are going the way I came quite a while ago. Uh, so that's good, I remembered. And Gimbal's being good. This is Birmingham live on a Saturday evening. Not sure of the time now. Uh, it's probably about seven o'clock, isn't it? Oh yes, I remember now. Let's go here. No, I didn't know that until I came, I say, the first time. And I had half a lager in here. And it was the daytime, but it does look beautiful now at night. They've got seating outside and it's very quaint. You always wonder though, don't you guys? And I'm, I won't dwell on it because we like to be happy. But that little incident then, you know, the language and the finger in front of the camera. Why do people do that? And what sort of person would do that? What drives them to do that? You know, what sort of mind do they have to, um, hopefully you didn't hear his language, and the, I'm not sure I did try to pull the camera away, he gave it the one finger, I'm not sure, hopefully you didn't see it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just wonder what drives them to do that? What sort of mind, you know, how polluted they must be. I've never done anything like that in my life and never will in my lifetime. I mean, it's so disrespectful, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? But I'm sure most young people are wonderful and they wouldn't do that. I have no doubt about that at all. What is this? Please close the door behind you. Oh, I wish you could go in. Can you, what, um, sorry, forgive me guys. The scheme was awarded first prize in Birmingham's Design Awards. Number 95, jewelry. Oh, it's just a business center. Isn't that stunning? <laughs> Got a car right in front, but let's try and get a better view for you. I love that, yes. We are in Spencer Street, and it's a lovely evening now. I know they had strong winds, was it not last night, the night before, but uh, we were quite lucky. So they do a Sunday roast here, doesn't say how much. Hmm, beautiful little bar here and, it, and you could sit outside it's beautiful here isn't it it's, be it's a beautiful bar isn't it it's very beautiful is it one of your locals yeah yeah it's really beautiful really how old is it would you say Really? Ah, isn't that incredible? You say 1850 or whatever. Imagine what it's gone through. 170 something years and still here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lovely bar. So, what's the Sunday roast? Do you have Sunday roast here? Have you had it before? How much does it cost? It doesn't tell you on the board. Yeah, it's got a sign, but it doesn't have a price on it. No. Maybe it keeps going up every day, no. because no, I'm really joking. No. That's that's yes, I know. But that is stunning. You wouldn't think so. You just come along and you, every now and again, you stumble upon something like this, don't you? 
really beautiful. Anyway, have a good evening. Thank you. And it's peaceful in there. <laughs> yeah, I've just come from Broad Street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Hey, travel TV, come on. I don't want you in my areas. <laughs> At least you know your way around a lot better than me. I think it's because I've been here just over five years. I've worked two and a half of those. I had to keep going to Spain to sell the house, as you know, for half of what I paid for it. And then we had practically two years, didn't we, of lockdown. So that's my excuse. And But I know you know your way around Birmingham a lot better than I do. I don't want to move anymore, they're too old. I keep moving and that's the problem, I keep... It's, it's hard moving. I mean, I haven't driven for... I haven't renewed my license. I'm not sure if I could, to be honest, cause, because it's been five years. Unless you'd have to take another test, I don't know. So... Even if I did move, obviously I'd want to rent a, a van, but I suppose I could get a, someone to drive it for me. But you have to be careful. You're much better off moving yourself. I, I always go into furnish, so I don't have to worry about heavy stuff. But it still mounts up, doesn't it? You know how you accumulate, although I don't hoard. I normally give it away when it's in immaculate condition. If I, I mean, I just gave someone a, coffee machine because I decided to roast my own and get the coffee. It's a company called If You Like Your Coffee Guys and it's not sponsored. LondonCoffeeCompany.co.uk LondonCoffeeCompany.co.uk You could order it on a Monday, you get it on a Wednesday. You can grind your own coffee or have it. They will grind it for you. When you order it, you get it within two or three days. It's free delivery if you have second class post. And you can get 500 grams for on a monthly 17 pounds, I think it's nine pence, which is good value for 500 grams. Just past the, the what's that then? That there, did I? Oh. Silver. Oh, sorry about that. What is it? Yes, so, and it's the best coffee. Anyway, so I had this wonderful machine. It was a year old, but it, it was immaculate. It cost me 160. It's one of those um, illy, you know, you have to get the capsules from online. And I gave it to the girl next door in the office where I rent my apartment. Who oh, passed the red car? Okay. Sorry, guys. We're coming to the top end now of... Cordon, we can cut back for you and I'm not going to go right into the centre you wouldn't want that, you've seen that already I mean I know people do go but it, it's not um, it's not a big city like New York is it nearly 9 million or London so can you imagine if you lived in London oh this is nice up here isn't it, where are we now oh Oh, the other side, yes. Just have a look up here. Oh, that's the... I'm getting a bit... Oh, yes. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. Sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> Warston Lane. Look, they get lost. I was watching someone today got completely lost. We actually got turned out of um, the shopping centre. They, they are notorious for that. And this vlogger is probably one of the most popular live vloggers in I don't know possibly in the world so he was filming indoors and he got he didn't get thrown out he got asked to stop filming which is what they do it's nice 
cafe's still open. That's open all day. I thought that would be closed now. And he had to go out a completely different way and got lost completely. <laughs> That's why, as I said to you, but you can imagine this, he's got hundreds of thousands of followers and he was showing all the shops in this shopping center. How important that could be for a business. Yes, they are, I can't believe the cafe's open. And it wasn't the local businesses, they didn't mind. But it's the, you know, it's privately owned, like lots of places are, aren't they now? And they have the right to tell you not to film. Um, so he got told to switch his camera off. But the first part of it was really interesting because he showed you some fantastic shops. And if you live there locally and you think this guy's got hundreds of thousands followers it's good business isn't it but as I said it weren't the shop owners in the shopping center it's just the security are told that I've as you know I've had that in Grand Central and the Boring so I don't bother now guys It's empty, poor old Sam's Pizza. So do you know this area? I'm sure you do, travel walks. Rose Villa Tavern over there. Warston Lane. Greg's is still open. Frederick Street now. It's got really windy again. Costa bar, nobody in there. Look, it's totally empty. Yes, central part. I think that's the the area now, isn't it? Oh, we, I know we could cut back round. I wanted to show you a little bit more. Let's go across the road, or maybe not, <laughs> in, a, in a minute, so. Oh, that's very popular, isn't it? The bar there. And the old bucket balcony. 
the button factory. Yes, it is quiet, you're right, apart from the occasional club or bar. And this place coming up here on our right, they've done everything to keep it open. Spent so much money on it, but a cappella. I'm not sure what it's like tonight. It's always empty in the daytime. Hmm. Well, it's empty there now, isn't it? Yes, it's a couple of customers just come in. Well, this is lovely over here, isn't it? Look, number 21. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if I've seen this. It's really nice inside. Let's have a little peep. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Let's just have a little peep. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> what is open here? Stunning bar. Isn't that beautiful there? I think it might even be takeaway. Is it takeaway? Let's have a quick look for you guys. Hello there. Beautiful. Mm. I've never seen this before. But they always look different at night, don't they? Yes, come over, come over. Frederick Street, number 21, isn't it? Lovely inside. What does it have there? Drink, bottle of Prosecco, 21 pounds, and cocktails, two for 10. That's good, isn't it? Very good value. I'm not sure how good the Prosecco would be there. We've got a thousand trades here. There's a little bar over there. It's absolutely full up. It says cafe, look, Tierra. Isn't it amazing? You wouldn't think. And they've got all this here now. Try not to get run over, guys. At least you know where I am. You can ring 999 if you're in the UK and say. <laughs> like to report a vlogger that's just been run over by a number nine bus. <laughs> it is beautiful around here. Yes, I love the building here. The Argent Centre and the museum here. It's just a walk around, isn't it? It's an hour. It goes so quickly, doesn't it? I know it probably get. I just thought of somewhere, yeah, Penn Museum. Never been in there. Don't know anything about it. We're going to go down here, go along the canals. Uh, it's a different part of the canal. I can always walk along all the way along. Yeah, so the, is someone in, he, he lives, I would say he lives in Manhattan, but he does Manhattan all the time. And I think Manhattan has a population of about one and a half million. 
it's similar, isn't it, New York to London, nearly nine million. Um, Brook, is it um, the Bronx has the same? Queen, Staten Island is about 600, and Brooklyn has about two and a half million. That's the biggest. But he does, he tends to say, I mean, he has been around, but he does tend to stay around Manhattan. But it's, it's very interesting. I love the New York. The only problem is the time difference, isn't it? I tend to, sorry about this, quite a strong breeze at the moment, but I have got the muffler on funny because you when you put you initially go out you think well I'll, I'll put the muffler on but I won't put it inside the jacket and and then it is it's and then the wind it just comes from nowhere hello there yeah, uh, what's that a, a nightclub the, like a cocktail, cocktail bar restaurant cocktail bar and restaurant yeah, yeah, yeah. oh what time we, do you... We, we, do have, we do have, like, DJs to go on the central, but it's, like, chill, nothing, like, chill, yeah. ambient music. What, what time does it close? Well, it depends how busy we are, but normally, like, we got license until 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if it's busy, we keep, we keep it open. Yeah, yeah, okay. Taboo. How long have you been here? Uh, it's been eight weeks now. Oh, right, okay, it's new. Well, good luck. Yeah, yeah. I might come in. Do I have to put a dress on though to come in? Yeah, normally it's a dress code, yeah, like yes. smart casual, no hoodies, no No, nothing no, no. Wear. no, of no, course not. Yeah. Wear a suit. I, I, I might not be, I, I, of course, I would. Choice, you wouldn't, you wouldn't yes, come dressed I wouldn't. I'm just out walking around the street now, but no, I'm... So I, you're doing vlogging? I'm vlogging for my... It's called Birmingham Close Up. Oh, is it? Have a look, please. Um, Go inside then. Can I, the can I show? I'm not sure if it would stay on. Can I show them? Yeah, um, yeah? I'm not sure if it will stay on because we're live, but we can try. Okay, thank you very much. Go down the stairs, yep. right hand side. Okay, thank you very much. I'll let him know that you're going there anyway. Oh, yes. Thrown out. <laughs> it's beautiful. Is the picture good, guys? Tell me. Hello. This is really so unusual. Oh, look, it's quite large. Isn't that beautiful? And then you've got these little cubicles here. Oh, freezing, okay. Sorry. Thank you very much. I'll just put that there. <laughs> Sorry? Okay, cool. Have a look. Uh, well, it, it did freeze, I'm told by one of my viewers, but I think they might have seen a little bit of it. So. I yeah. The yeah, no, but you know when it's live, it's always a problem. I know. Well, um, well, it's but I'll leave it on the video. So have a look at Birmingham Close Up tonight, yeah, and I'll leave it Birmingham up. Birmingham Close Up. Yeah. Go on Facebook. Yes, just go on on YouTube. On YouTube, oh, okay. You yes, go and have a look. On. Yes, got my own channel. I've been going. Fair play. Man. Birmingham and all th three separate words. Close up, up, and you should find me. That's it, yeah. That's me. I'll subscribe to you, my. Yeah, no worries, so. Thank you. I wish you the very best. Hope it works yeah, out. Too, my man. All right. Just take care. Evening, take care. Bye bye. Hope we're not freezing now, guys. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Hannah. Oh, Hannah RKHN. Welcome to my channel. Video. Very sorry about that. I knew when we went in the cellar. It would freeze, but what can you do? You've got to try, haven't you? That's live video. I'm hoping it uh, pictures back now and sound, guys, because sometimes what, when you do that, um, that's it. it. It seems to upset the... takes a little while for the um, Wi-Fi to come back, but hopefully... Oh, I've never seen it more beautiful.
Just two months they've been open. They had a few people in there. There's quite a few staff on tonight, so I would think it's going to be quite busy. But I hope you got a little view of the inside when we first went there. But it's downstairs in a cellar. Absolutely stunning. I might even go there, treat myself to a cocktail one day. There's a Hannah RKHN. I do watch her. Hannah Ricketts from London. She's um, wonderful. I enjoy her videos. She does a lot of shopping videos, but nobody does it better than her. And she lives in London. And uh, check her out, Hannah Ricketts. She's getting near the 100,000 now. It's amazing. Her channel really taken off over the Vlogmas period she did. And there's another one in London, SHU, SHU. She does a lot of foodie videos, but she's absolutely superb. Very interesting. Lives with her boyfriend in London, and they have a rent a flat together. She works for Netflix and the BBC. Oh, I hope so. Thank you very much. I'm really pleased about that because I tell you, I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. And they have those, you know, those cubicles and the people, there were groups in there. That's really unique. I'm not sure if you saw the main bar. That was stunning. And the cubicles where the young la ladies or groups of people were having little private parties. They had about six on each side at least oh nice guy nice guy wasn't he see that's what you do you don't just say to people go away we don't want you to film but as you know i don't normally go and i didn't put the uh camera on anyone sitting in the cubicles i i went past those obviously is that snob Oh, scooters. You wouldn't believe my heart. I heard this clunk. Oh, I wish they wouldn't do that. I mean, I know it's not actually in the heart of the city, guys, but you don't want to see that every week. We had a like a peaceful walk tonight and uh, we had a few in when we go an hour and 20 minutes nearly I hope you have enjoyed it and let's go through here this is the other side of the canals so it's going to be dark but I've not been this way with you. I love those lights there. Yes. Now this is going to bring us out. Oh, what does it say there? I can't read it. Athletics. Oh, indoor athletics. Sorry, it's dark. <laughs> it's creepy. Gimbals. Oh, no, don't say too loud. Gimbals being good. It's easier. It's got its pros and cons. Live, you don't have to edit. I mean, I know we had that one idiot. Hopefully, um, it didn't show up too much. And that's why I always put these down, these videos down, you know, not suitable for, well, it's under 18, isn't it? You, because you, you don't want children to see such behavior and you could always have it in a live video. So rather than risk it, I mean, it might be a lot of pe some people, you know, that it is a family channel, people want to watch it, but I don't want to risk 
anyone when we are broadcasting live having to certainly young young teenagers viewing something like what's inappropriate so behavior so, so that's why i always tick the box to say not suitable for under 18s just to be safe They've got more flats coming here. Oh, so breezy now, sorry. Here, it's got the history. Look, flats here are gonna be consortia development. But it says for sale, I don't think they're for rental. But people will buy them and obviously rent them out, won't they? Nice location. I've never seen that lit up before, so perhaps it's indoor athletics on now. It'll be a little bit lighter when we get up here. My apologies. I'm just climbing over a mountain. I think what we would do is go along the canals because it is beautiful at night. We've got some time for you. I've just put on, I just signed up for it, it was because I have pay as you go. I don't have a contract, um, but I've got 10 gigabytes for 10 pounds. But it goes up, they give you 12 if it's a. Uh, you do a, a repayment every month, although you can still cancel it, it's not a contract. So 12 gigabytes would probably give me, I think about eight hours live in 1080 HD. So that would be enough for the four Saturday videos live. Although I'm not sure, I don't know, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do live all the time. I've got so used to it now there. It'd be strange going back to non-live, but I only had two gigabytes left for tonight. And then I thought I would drop it down. That's the arena it must be on tonight. Two gigabytes would give us not quite two hours. And I thought well, I'll go in 720, but then I thought, well, no, I'm not going to do 720 for my viewers. I want it to be the best quality picture possible so we are in 1080 HD and is um ten in thank you so much wonderful to see a few people in here joining me on this Saturday evening in Birmingham City. Must be about 7.24 now, I think, UK time. It's quite warm. We had a nasty breeze occasionally, but uh, sorry about that. I don't think it'll be intolerable. Great thing about the iPhone, it's, it's great in low light also, so you can get a wonderful, I, I'll be looking at the screen think, and it's really very dark and when I get home and watch a video, it, it's, it's um, much lighter, so hopefully that's what you are getting. Oh yes, British Athletics, indoor tonight, so...
this uh, jukebox's piano bar. Isn't that beautiful? Let's have some fireworks. Hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly. Sorry, so, but that is so beautiful. I can't get enough of that. So stunningly beautiful. I hope there, are, it says 15 people still here. We are Birmingham. We are by the canals. We're going to walk along down to the mailbox. I might go in, might uh, probably drop off again, won't it? If it's open, the mailbox, but then we have security there. We'll have a look there, cut the right the way back and finish at Brindley Place. We could go to Brindley Place just on my right now, but uh, I want to, I want to walk a little bit more and I'm hoping you guys want to see a little bit more. The Malt House. Oh, that is so pretty. I lived in Birmingham for possibly two years and I have to confess I never did the canals. It was when we were in lockdown and we had our daily walk. We were allowed. Remember those days, guys? You can't believe it, can you? That actually started three years ago. It just wasn't it terrible two years for everyone. So I walked along the canals. Oh, thank you, Anthony. You are so kind. I'll, I'll send you the £20 later. You take a cheque, will you? <laughs> yes, I didn't for a while, and then I did towards the end, and I... Th well, I found the canals uh, and lived, I'm ashamed to say, in Birmingham two years. 
But I was in jury quarters, you know. I found the canals and I thought, oh my goodness. I mean, I don't film along here in the daytime because quite frankly, I think it'd just be, even if it's non-live, I did a live in uh, botanical gardens. But it wasn't good. Uh, no, it was good, it was fine, but people, people don't, you know, I just felt it, it was too boring. People can do a lot better videos than me of the, that type of thing, ASMR. See, that's pretty neat place on our right, but we will go back there. I'm not showing you that now. That's just up there. So you get lots of ASMR, lots of like the parks and botanical gardens and things like that. It's wonderful to see for yourself. But I'll just stay here for the. Oh no, I think they're going in there. <laughs> or are they not? Are they going to fall in the, in the canal? I know we talked about these before, guys. Oh no, it is open, the restaurant, but there's. Oops. I nearly, I nearly did it again, guys. Told you, it happened last week. Those pods over there. You can hire and have a meal. Yes, they've got lots of little things sticking up. You know, where they tie the ropes. <laughs> I completely ignored it. So the chopper there is obviously Black Sabbath Ridge and where those people walking up on our left we normally come down there. But we are now going the other way. I just thought I'd give you a little bit more. It's wonderful if the gimbal doesn't play up and you have good sound. Although I have invested, as you guys know, in sound. Unlike, well I don't want to be critical, it's just an observation. A lot of people though and sound is as important, if um, not more important than the picture quality, because if the sound is awful. I told you last week, I think I've had 20 to 30 microphones, and finally, well, hopefully, this one, 289 pounds is a big investment. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. You have a situation there, guys, really, where you have one person has to duck their head, if you know it, and of course, nobody waits. So you're both in the same place almost, ducking your head. Beautiful bar here. Yes, you see them there, guys. Look, this is what I do. I, I ignore them and I, I fall over the damn things. But of course, it'll probably get 10 million views. <laughs> Vlogger falls in canal. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, that's the other side of the Pike Regency there. My shoulder, right shoulder. I don't actually change hands. I should, but I'm not as steady with my left hand. I'm not sort of ambidextrous. So.
Süß. Oh, that's a lovely restaurant, isn't it? Pier oh, Bistro. I know someone mentioned it last time we were here. Oh, it's all sort of it's beautiful, isn't it, in there? Bistro Pierre, 1994. Electric bicycle there, parked up. They're not cheap in Birmingham. You have to pay 150 to unlock them, and then six pounds an hour. I think that's extortionate, personally. But you can't leave them unlocked, can you? If say if you wanted to go out, two of you, eight o'clock till four, I worked it out. I mean, eight hours forty-eight. Yeah, cost you ninety-nine pounds for the two of you. Hello, Mum. Hello, you all right? Good. <laughs> Hello there. What's this all for then? We're just selling. Why? Right. Do you make them yourself? My, I like fudge. It's wonderful. Uh, not uh, well. Okay, yes, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Thank you. I'm, is this new? I've not seen you before. Oh right. Well, it takes me a few years to notice things. <laughs> it does. It does it takes me a couple of years? <laughs> Um, chocolate, please. Um, white chocolate, oh, chocolate white, please. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Oh, my viewers are getting hungry now. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Very kind of you. Thank you. You're all right, guys. Sorry you can't have any. Mmm. Exquisite. Beautiful. Oh, so rich and creamy. Oh my goodness. Well, it's handmade. Uh, mm. The way grandmothers would have recognised as children. Yeah. Fudge should be made. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not made in a factory loaded with extra. You can food. taste that. Yeah, so yeah, pure and fresh. And I'm, I'm not trying to be a food vlogger. There are too many on there no, already. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know my sweets. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, food has changed in the last couple of decades. Yes. The yeah. manufacturing process is yes. than what it should taste like. Yes. In my opinion. It has, it has, definitely. Um, so, it's all down to, to supply chain. It is, it is, isn't it? You know, yeah. They make it in a factory, they've got to allow six to 12 months. I know. From there to the shelf on I the floor. I know. And these are fresh, aren't they? Freshly made, more or less. And what do you charge? I want my people, if, if they're locals here. Uh, small bags, mm. example. that's a small bag. Yeah. That's a large. Yes. This one is £2.50, this one is £4. Four pounds. It okay. It doesn't matter on the flavour. No. Um, I should say, that, for instance, this is raspberry. Yeah, all that. All the fruit flavours contain the fruit. So those are Real pieces. fruit. Yeah. yeah. Those are pieces yeah. of raspberry. That's wonderful. Strawberry. Yeah. Mango. Have you got a whiskey flavoured one? 
we used to do malt whiskey. Oh, it yeah. Didn't sell very well. Oh, didn't Other it? Other than when uh, Team Scotland were here during the Commonwealth Games. Oh, yeah. A lot oh, it did <laughs> say, right. Uh, okay. So we only do Jack Daniels now, which is the rye whiskey. Yeah. So uh, oh. it's kind of taken. We have to follow the trends. Of, of course you do, yeah. Um, but we do do rum and raisin, spice rum, Bailey's original. Bailey's original. Bailey's eaten mess. Oh, right. Um, and they're the same size, are they? The four pound ones, those? Oh, yeah, yep, same size. And the same price. And okay. I haven't put my prices up for over two years. Really? And that's unusual, isn't it? I mean, food prices. I don't agree with all this. Everything's going up for the sake of going up. It is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're right, because sometimes you see products like, for example, I'll give you just a silly example, but Botanical Gardens, I'm a member, Birmingham, out of town, 2 50 to park. Oh, we put it up to three pounds. But Why? You yeah, know? It doesn't cost any extra for no. the car park. And, and um, th this is, people do tend to follow suit, don't they? Yeah. I mean, it's like petrochemicals. Mm. Um, I was reading in the paper the other day that the barrel price for oil, which is what the retail price is based on, yes. is, was the same only 18 months ago as it was in 1980. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. The price yeah. is and what they tell you. a gallon anymore. Yeah. It was I know. Treat us like... A litre. Treat us like idiots. Anyway, that's I'm wonderful. No, that's yeah. wonderful. Thank you so much. Hopefully, yeah. you'll be swarming with people now, <laughs> running out of their houses if they live locally. Yeah. Well, I've only got 14 people watching but if you're all from Birmingham guys get over here now what time do you close uh, about half ten half past ten but he might stay open a little bit later for you so if there's people here I'll stay open yeah. if there's people not here I'm not going to freeze for no <laughs> take care <laughs> okay. nice to meet you take care bye bye <laughs> sorry about that that's a funny thing though isn't it we're getting back to about live vlogging it's very spontaneous isn't it it's uh you never know who you're going to bump into. You never know who you're going to see, who you're going to talk to. And you come in. I like them. As I said, I, don't, I, I have to confess, I do watch um, mainly New York, Toronto, but I watch um, Japan, Tokyo. I try to watch London, but, you know, it's difficult finding live vloggers in London. I know there was one girl I found one day, but usually they they are just vloggers that, you know, non-live videos. We were live, if you remember, not many watched. <laughs> 23 minutes in Covent Garden, it just cut out, guys, if anyone did watch it. And I was like, oh my God, what's happening? And we couldn't get back on for an hour, but I did get back on, I got back on... Um, I did a Harrods the next day for you, and I got back on. We were going along. Hello. This is lovely over here. Hello. We were going along Oxford Street two weeks before Christmas on the Sunday, exactly two weeks, and it snowed heavy. And my back was really, sorry about that being hungry, hurting me. Wonderful little restaurant. Still open. Oh, no, it's not, no. They do look private functions sometimes here. Coffee and cake in afternoon tea. Book afternoon tea. And I think it's £25. You can check. And it's very good. It's um, So, yes, we're filming Oxford Street live, snowing. First time in three years because we had lockdown for two years. It was perfect. Everything was perfect. And not many watched it. It's weird, isn't it? Well, you see here, look, the mailbox. We went there last week. I won't try to go inside the mailbox this time of night. They, they always have security on the doors. You see there, there's only a few shops in there, they, they will all be closed. AC Hotel is over there. Ah, oh no, that one, is it closed? Oh, it's open. There's a new bar open there. Oh, that's unusual. Oh, the one above, oh no, it's not. Churchill's 
is above, isn't it? I'm just losing my... You see up the top there on the far right, it's dark. That's Churchill's. It never survived. It must have been extremely vulnerable. It never survived the COVID, the pandemic, sort of closed, I think, within six to 12 months of the pandemic. So treat yourself to afternoon tea there with a friend. Cocoa. I think, as I said, I think it's £25. Now, this is a beautiful restaurant. Noels. That was quite a lot of people in there. 20, oh no it wasn't, um, coffee and cake in there is about 12 to 14 pounds, so be warned, that's in the daytime. It's not really a coffee bar to be honest, it's mainly a restaurant. And, and with, to be fair, the cake is more, more of a dessert than a cake. Someone got takeaway food there. I've never ordered takeaway food, guys. Am I the only person in the world? I, I've, I don't know why, certain things you don't do on, on my own, so I tend to cook my own meals or have sandwiches. Now, this is a beautiful coffee shop. Look, know the lady, Indian lady owns this shop she's charming struggling I did a video in here well over a year ago but it's very beautiful inside and it's good the cakes and coffee again honestly they are excellent and you know the, the normal prices you see the wings there they open and close you see how beautiful it is inside very quaint and she's doing everything to keep the business open. See there? Those, isn't that beautiful? She designed that. And it works on remote control. They open and close. It's called Chai and Crumbs. So if you are around here, come along and Give them your support. Oh, it's for sale, guys. You see? Look. Isn't that sad? It's done everything to keep this business open. Isn't that beautiful? Great screenshot there. And here you are. Oh, I'm so sad. It's a life, isn't it? I mean, business is closing. I did think it's possibly the location. You, a lot of people don't know it's there, to be honest. That's probably the main reason. Here we're going past the, we're in Barclay Street now. So we are going to cut across Broad Street. So head down and keep going. I didn't know that. Is that new, the name there? This one? Leonardo Royal Hotels. I, I, unless I'm going crazy, that used to be called, tell me guys, someone, the end of Barclay Street. Jury, jury's in, didn't it? Or am I being silly?
maybe I'm being, maybe I'm thinking, let's have a look when we get to the end. Hour on 50. I've got to go shopping again. That fight is not enough. I've got, um, I've been shopping so much this week, I've got to control my food budget and my sweet tooth budget. I have to tell you, if you have a sweet tooth, I meant to tell you last week, and I have a very, very, very sweet tooth. Lola's Cupcakes online are the best, and I probably told you last week, cakes you can get. I think I did. 20 pounds on average, five or six median servings. You can, for example, order it Monday and have it delivered within 48 hours to, say, the food hall in Selfridges. Doesn't cost you anything. Go and pick it up there. And they make the finest cakes I've ever had. You, as I said, you get five, six average slices, maybe five medium to large slices for 20 pounds. And it's the, the one I had last week was the Black Forest. Oh my goodness. That, that, did, that was called the Durian, wasn't it? Yes, Black Forest Gatto. Sounds old-fashioned because years ago they had steak bars and where well, a lot of people went they were called Bernie Bernie Inns I'm not sure if they're still around to be honest and you had a set meal and you always had Black Forest Gatto for the dessert and everyone would laugh and ridicule it but I tell you the Black Forest Gatto from Lola's Cupcakes is out of this world yes it, it was called Jury's Inn wasn't it guys well, you know, it's all right, it's changing the name, but has, any, has anything else changed there? When did that happen? Ah, they are going to build a sister boutique hotel on its car park on that road soon called, oh, right. Thank you for the information, James. Yes. Ah, rebranded, yes. Don't like the building outside though. What do you think, James? It's very dated, isn't it? Very old. I'm going to try to get past. Let's go. <laughs> you can have a quick glimpse of crazy broad. Broad stick, there you go. And we are going to finish Brindley Place by the fountain because we all love it, don't we? Pop World on our left. That's oh, it's a bit loud. It'd be interesting to test this microphone one day when we have a situation like well, we had the Gay Pride Day that was distorted, we had the Diwali festival and then we had someone who came on and said, and they were right, and when we did the Chinese festival, when the gimbal went haywire. This is just a coffee bar, Yorks. I didn't, you know, I didn't realize this was Yorks. I'm so stupid. They got another one opening, haven't they? On Paradise. Turtle Bay. Excellent restaurants, Turkle Bay, reasonably priced, good food, great atmosphere. Got a wonderful outdoor seating area there. 
I notice people are out there because it's so mild again. Well, I just think they can change the front. They, you know, fit with. They can do all sorts of things with the frontage now, can't they? I know it. It's a lot cheaper than knocking it down. I don't know what it's like inside. Two hours. You know, I would never have believed it, guys. I have to tell you, when I first came out, oh, I oh know it's on. I couldn't, my, in the old back, the old back. It was really quite nasty, but it does help to walk and I've not changed hands. I've kept it in my right hand all, to, all the time. And in two hours, almost, that's good, isn't it? It's just walk down here for you. Different perspective. I know we did it last week. I want to you to just get the atmosphere and shut up and let you take it in. Everywhere is full up, of course. Right, 55 seconds from the two hour, guys, so I'm going to let you enjoy a little bit of ASMR. I say thank you so much for joining, hope you had, had a reasonably good time. I think the, well, gimbal was okay, I'm hoping sound and picture were totally acceptable and I didn't see a few of my regulars, I know ain't Penelope and various other people, but I'm terrible for names, forgive me. Not sure what we would do next week. I'm going to try to keep the Saturday videos going live so you know and get used to them and we can eventually build up you know, a nice group of people on here, which we already have, but a few more and it would be wonderful. And I'm going to say goodbye. We're going to time out with the sound of water and music. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining my video this evening. I enjoyed it. I've taken myself for a walk, had a good time, and see you soon. Goodbye.
Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Andrew Woodhouse. You're so kind. Yeah, I'm pleased with the sound and picture. We had a little problem, you know, just we went into an underground bar, a new bar, open only eight weeks. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful inside. So, but it did obviously, because it's in the cellar, drop off the okay. So I had to get out quickly, but apart from that, I think everything was okay. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. See you soon.